What's up, y'all? So today I want to take a moment and just talk about the hard times when you are struggling and when you are dealing with some things that seem impossible when you don't know what to do, when you you just you don't want to stay in this place and you're looking for hope and all of the things. Well, I have been I have been in a season where God has been taking me to new levels of trust. And he's been building my building my faith. Sometimes God will use the situations in your life to help build you up so that you can really fully depend on God. In Matthew chapter 11, <clears throat> verse 28, he says to come to me all who are weary and carry heavy burdens. I will give you rest. See, the first step is to come to God. So you got to understand that you got to know where to go. Right? Sometimes when life starts happening, we don't know where to turn. We may turn to external sources like our friends or we we want to count on other people around us to help us, but even when they're not able to and we're just left here by ourselves, you may feel like you're alone, but God is saying that I'm here. I'm telling you to come to me. You just got to make that step. It says to take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart. Jesus is saying that he is humble and gentle at heart. That means that he's not going to make light of your situation. He's going to be gentle with you. He knows that you are hurting. He knows that you are dealing with some things. This is why he told you to come. Because he is our comforter. God is our comforter. But you have to give him the opportunity to be that for you. You will find rest for your soul when you do these things. The only thing that he said for you to do is to come. For my yoke is easy to bear and the burden that I give you is light. And so I think about this um, and as I was in my quiet time today, I just had a different understanding of it. And I want to share that with you today. God already knew that we were going to go through things. Which is why he said to, you know, take, what did he say? He said, Jesus told the disciples that troubles will come in the world. But you can, you can, you can be okay because I, I give you peace, right? And I know I, I'm not saying the scripture exactly the way it is. I just, it's, he wants you to know that he's already prepared. He just needs you to come to him. Now, when you when you come to God, it, it depend, whatever it is, whatever it is you're going through, you may feel like nobody can, there's no way that this is going to work. I, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you. The reason why God is saying to come to me, give me your burdens, cast your burdens unto me because I care. Give them to me. It's because it was never meant for you to carry by yourself anyways. A lot of times we like to take on the weight of all the things that is like we are being pressed down, like we're being drowned and crushed under the weight of all the burdens that we have to carry, all of the disappointments, all of the grief, all of the pain, all of the responsibilities. They're holding us down. God is saying, give me that. I didn't create you to carry that by yourself. I got something for you that's light. My burden is easy. My yoke is light. 
And it's like, what does that look like realistically? How do you give? How do you cast your cares to God? How do you give it to him? Right? Like, what, how does that work? Well, we know that the first step is to come to him. Right? The next thing is you have to understand who God is. How have you framed him in your mind? Because we got to work on your level of trust. When you trust in somebody, you feel a confidence and an assurance to know that it's going to work out, that they've got it. They're going to take care of it. You're not worried about whether or not they're going to, the like, that things are going to work out. You're not worried when you have trust in someone or something. You trust that it's going to be able to do what it said. When I sit myself in this chair, I trust that it's going to be able to hold me up, right? I sit here with confidence and assurance knowing that this chair has got me. Sure, the chair could break and fall, but that ain't in my mind because I trust this chair. I sit in this chair all the time. I know that this chair is not weak. It can hold me, you know? I can probably put some stuff in my lap and it can hold me up. It does have a minimum. It does have a, a, a maximum uh, holding weight, right? But see, the great thing about God is that there is no maximum holding weight. You can give all of it to him. It don't matter how heavy your burden is. You can give it all to God. God is not weak. He is not weak. He holds the whole world in his hand, the whole universe in his hand. Who else can hold the oceans in his hand? God. But we limit ourselves to thinking that God is just this figment of our imagination and he is so small. But what we fail to realize is that God is bigger than we could ever imagine. What you're going through is nothing but a light thing for God. God can change your situation in a moment, in an instant. Will he? That is up to him. But what I want to focus on today is that when you give it to God, you are saying, God, I trust you. God, I trust you with this that I'm dealing with. You said in your word to come to you all that are weary and carry heavy burdens. God, I have a heavy burden that I am carrying. And I am growing weary. You said to come to you. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting you in remembrance of your word and I'm coming to you. Because I trust that your word is true. I trust that what you said in your word applies to me. You said that you will give me rest. God, I feel no rest. I'm tired. I'm tired mentally. I'm tired physically. I'm drained. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to turn. I need rest, God. You said in your word that if I come to you, you will give me rest, God. Give me the rest that you promised. You said that your yoke, I should take your yoke. And that you're going to teach me, like you're going to show me what it is that I need to do, God. You said that you are my guide. That you are leading and guiding me. You are my shepherd. I shouldn't be confused on which path to take because you are here. So I'm here, God. I'm asking for you to help me. I can't do it by myself. You said I will find rest for my soul and that your yoke is easy to bear. And you said that the burden that you have is light. God, can you give that to me? Go to God like that. Be open, honest, humble, transparent. You don't know everything, but God does. Come to him as a child. You got to know how to come to God in the different instances of your life. But right now, if you are dealing with anything that is heavy, I encourage you to go to God like a child. When you are going to God like a child, you don't know much. You only know what you feel. What does the scripture say? Like, God, you are all knowing. There's no way that I could even phantom to understand the depths of your knowledge. But I can put my hope in you. So when I give it to you, this is what the outcome is. God is saying that when you give it to me, I can give you the joy that you desire. When you give it to me, I can give you that hope that you've been yearning for.
When you give it to me, I can give you peace that surpasses all understanding. When you give it to me, child, I can give you what you need. You can move on with your day with the assurance to know that you, I got you because you have put your trust in me. Let me give you the new strength that you need to make it through this season of your life. Have you ever wondered how some people are able to manage all of the terrible things that have happened to them and they still have hope? They still have peace. They still have joy. It's because they have found the answer and the answer is putting your trust in God and giving him the burden that you cannot carry. We are not designed to carry the heavy burden. We are designed to carry his burden because it's light. But we have to give it to him. It's an exchange. And it's not even. <laughs> so I just want to encourage you today that if you are dealing with anything, nothing is too small or too big for God to handle. It is nothing but a light thing for God. And let me encourage you that maybe God wants you to put your trust in him and fully depend on God. Stop stressing about how things are going to work out and how things are going to turn around. Stop stressing about all of the things that you have no control over. You're wasting your time. You're anxious for nothing because why should you be anxious about something that you cannot change? It's not in your hands anymore. You got to recognize when things are in your hands and you can change stuff and you can do things. Okay. But what if it's stuff that you can't? You can't control this situation. Like this is out of your hands. Sure, you can try to manipulate. Sure, you can try to force things. But why would you do that? See, when you have the understanding and you know that God is able and fully capable of turning this situation around the way that it needs to, you trust different. You move different. You ain't got to worry about all of that. So... That's all I got for you. I just want you to, to put your trust in God. Fully depend on him. Nothing is too much for him. And I promise you that if you ask, you will receive. Come to God with, right, with a right heart and a right mind. Come to him humbly. Come to him as a child. He will give you the direction. and He will give you the new strength. He will give you what it is that you really need. Because we don't really know. But God is the source of all things. And he's got you. All right. Peace. Be blessed.